Hi, welcome to Transmission Hour, Boston's best music. I'm your host, Tim Casey. Tonight we have a rock band out of Boston, Zen Armada. Two guitars, bass, drums, sounds good to me. We'll be talking to them later on in the show, but for now, let's listen to some music from Zen Armada.
Welcome to Transmission Hour, Zen Armada. Thank it you, Tim. It was great having you on. That was loud, but good. It was a good rock and roll loud. show. Loud, what? It was loud. I know, look at that. You've lost your hearing already. Um, yeah, it was very, very good. Uh, it was very uh, rocky. I kind of, I mean, I know you guys. And I, I kind of said, oh, it's a kind of an Americana thing. But boy, that first song, just when it started off, I was like, whoa, this is different. You know, <laughs> there's a little bit more punch to it. You don't really know us, Tim. I guess I Americana do. I guess on I Red do. Bull, I guess, maybe. Yeah. Um, how'd you guys all meet? I guess you two go back a long John ways. and I played together in a band back in the 80s yeah. called okay. The Benz. Hmm. And, yeah. and two of the songs we did were two of the songs that we did back then. Oh, okay. We actually got Airplane on BCN. I thought so, yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I remember that. I don't remember the song, but Probably I Probably for one, one, one time. Yeah, you, got play, you got played once? Yeah, Probably. It was, a, it was a Sunday night, and they you used to play uh, local bands. And I think Drew <coughs> Townsend, uh, who... Produced uh, it. Produced and uh, recorded what we did at Newbury Sound, uh, mm. which is across from Fenway. Yeah. So it's gone now. Yeah. Uh, had a show. It was like a one-hour, two-hour special. And... Um, they played, uh, I think it was Brand New Dance. Could be. I don't remember. Yeah. Wow. That yeah. was exciting. You know, it was like, okay. we made it. Mm -hmm. yeah, did you, were you playing a lot in Boston? Cause I just, yeah, we played around. I thought so, yeah, because yeah, I remember seeing that name. We were together for about a, a year and a half, okay. maybe two yeah. years at the most. Yeah. We, yeah, we went yeah. through a couple different bass players. Um, yeah, we added a keyboard player towards the end, another guitar player who went on to be in... Um, Fountains of Wayne. That's right. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Wow. He left town and Yep. <laughs> we stayed. <laughs> yeah, he's still they're still together, the band. He's mm. still with him, I think. Chris, right? Yeah. And yep. then you got you got Marty on bass who's not here tonight. He's right here. Well yep. yeah, I, you know, he looks different. Well, <laughs> look, he was gonna be here but he was he he helped some guy named Emmett work on his DeLorean and they disappeared. Is this true? <laughs> Delorean. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. It's a, it's a movie reference. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wow, we know somebody with one of those? Anyway. Uh, but yeah, so you got... Marty hooked up with you guys maybe like two years ago? No, no. Less than a year. Less than a year? Yeah. yeah. And Brian even less than that. So... It's yeah. I was gonna. It's, and Brian, I didn't even know was coming to the show. I thought it was a trio. Then Brian shows up, and all of a sudden, it's this big rock band. Big you know, rock how did, band. How did you meet up with them, Brian? Uh, they had a posting on Craigslist, and I was looking oh. around for a band to play with. A uh, band I was in previously broke up a couple months before, so I was looking for some people to play with. And I looked at their post. They seemed like interesting guys, and it seemed like they had uh, similar music tastes. And wow. All worked out. I sent them some demos of myself and an email back, and yeah. then had a little tryout, and it all worked out. So. Hard to believe when there's several decades difference between us in ages. Yeah, so. the music <laughs> does that to people. You know? Well, on SoundCloud, if you remember, I went to check out your stuff, and uh, I, I knew I can't remember how I knew that you were a little younger than us. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, he's got a song for Jeffrey on there by Jethro Tull. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I, what, what was Didn't you have a Led Zeppelin song? Dig a Pony? Yeah, Dig a Pony. Did you had, uh, you have a Led Zeppelin Led song? Led Zeppelin, uh, Song Remains the Same. Oh my gosh. And Carousel, uh, The Iron and Wine Tour right. was on there, yeah. And so I said, hey, wow, this kid is, uh, you know, he's got good taste.
I was going to ask you actually, like you know, what 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 made you become a musician? Like, what was it when you were a kid? What were you listening to? Stuff like that. Huh. Um, I, I, it all pretty much started just friends of mine getting together and they played guitar, so I wanted to play guitar too to kind of fit in and hang out with them. But then, <coughs> after, and I was into music at the time, so I enjoyed yeah. it. But uh, I guess it wasn't until I started listening to some of the bands that got me into it, like Led Zeppelin and some of the yeah. classic rock staples that I. Oh no, I really like their sound wow. and wanted to do what they did. That's you weren't in it for the chicks? No, not really. That wasn't in any bands, really. I that's mostly that was, played that in was, my room. So. That was a I myth from when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> John and Marty and I all started out as drummers. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Bill, Bill Mason, the audio guy on the show, started out as a drummer, yeah. too. I didn't realize that. Wow. Yeah, I never weird, got, I, I could never do that. I, I never got to the drums. I picked up a guitar, you know. Yeah. Well, let's face it. It is the most powerful instrument on the planet, and this is it's why. It's done by the most intelligent guitar players who, people who too. can't <laughs> handle the kit that uh, move on to lesser projection uh, yeah, abilities, yeah, like the guitar. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm sorry. Did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> and actually, speaking of guitars, um, I know you know personally, Andy, that you're really into guitars into like collecting guitars uh, i don't collect them to collect them i yeah. collected them to use you them you use them yeah for various things and then they just stay there but like one of your guitars you used on the show yeah. tonight was that um that golden brown colored guitar with the f holes in it like oh red the reddish one yeah is it reddish that has yeah. the f okay yeah, yeah. it's a g and l yeah which oh is... it was golden brown on the video because of the lights oh. we were using <laughs> but g and l was the company that leo fender started after he left fender yeah, yeah. But with another guy, uh, I think it's, was it George Fullerton? I don't know. Somebody, George F G and L L was Leo Fender. Yeah. And he went off and started okay. another company. Because I remember um, in your other house before you got this beautiful house you're in now <laughs> that was smaller, your room that you like, you know, recorded and stuff like that, it was a uh, cathedral ceiling because it used to be a single car garage, I think. And it had the beams across it and it was just Fully. Actually, we put those beams. In. We had those oh, put okay. in there when yeah. we had the room remodeled. And it was they would just all you'd walk in and it was just guitars hanging from the ceiling. Tons of these beautiful guitars, you know. What's the weirdest one you had? Oh well, I have an old Schecter from the '80s that was so heavy that I took it to my tech and said, "Can you like lighten it some?" It was all these African woods, and he said, "All right." And it's because all the parts on it were metal. The pick guards were metal. Everything was metal. So it was really heavy. Mm. And he said, let me play with it for a while. I went back and he'd carved holes in it. So it looks sort of skeletal now, which kind of ruined the that. value. He ruined it. <laughs> I mean, it still plays fine and everything, but yeah, yeah, no resale value now at all. Wow. But that was oh, back. Schechter was back when uh, Hendrix was actually starting to use Schechter's right as before he died. Yeah. And, uh, I yeah, didn't so that's that. probably the weirdest one. Wow. And as far as the songs that um, you've written, because I'm familiar with them, you did some of them tonight. Um, are those, you know, fiction or nonfiction? I think that's oh. the best way to put it. Well, they're all fiction. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. a couple of them are inspired by certain times in history or whatever. I mean, yeah. the one I, one called "Hollow Day" that John and I used to do back in the Benz. Oops. It was written sort of in response to a certain political climate, what you could say. Yeah. Um, and then, then the newest one, which we did that Brian sang, um, I just... Oh, I love that one. I, that, it's it's called, called Foreign Foreign, foreign Accent foreign Syndrome. Accent and, syndrome and, and I heard yeah. somebody, radio, TV, somebody <laughs> talking about it's an actual syndrome. Somebody gets hit on the head, and after that they start talking with a foreign accent. Wow. So that was the inspiration for that. And then I'll have I, to try that sometime. <laughs> <laughs> so then I tried to generalize it a bit with the lyrics. That's a great song. Oh, thank I really you. Like that. I, really, really I thought he did a great job singing that. Yeah, he did. He yeah. did. You did a great job, Brian. Thank you. Kudos to you. Bottle come flying. Yes, 
was somewhat confused Wondered why there were two of you Looking at me like I had two ends Saying words that really didn't make any sense And now I'm talking Another hollow day When I woke up I felt this way I don't recall The celebration Put me down for intoxication I watch the TV And I hear those speeches Who you think that message reaches In color it seems so right But like an old movie It's still black and white You can't always trust what you hear Somebody's always feeding you lies Some people make a career Out of no 
just what their money can buy Yeah, it's another hollow day Just another little power play The rich get richer and the rest get taxed The race goes on for the old green bag And speaking of recordings then, are you guys planning on recording anything soon or? We've done some demos, but we haven't, you know, we, we had to get Marty incorporated in the band and now Brian. So yeah. we've really been concentrating on getting enough songs down to do gigs and, you know, so. Right, and getting comfortable playing together. Right. You know, I Don't want to rush it. That's yeah, great. Andy has some great songs that uh, we'll get in the studio sooner than later with, but. You know, uh, it's all about momentum. It's all about, uh, I think for us too, staying true to some of the old school values and tenets of being a musician and a band, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, I, I, a lot of contemporary music is, it's, it's, it's entertainment, you know. Yeah. It's not really uh, mu music, uh, you know. I think there are musicians and there are players. So there are a lot of players out there now, but very few people uh you know that are bands because uh, we know four chords most of the bands out there right now <laughs> they know one do three. Actually, yeah. <laughs> no we, well, we know three a lot of chords, you know <laughs> and and we can play you know uh, so far we haven't used any machinery to uh make us yeah. Look yeah. sound better than what we are as human beings so speaking of playing you got a benefit coming up uh, this Sunday. This Sunday. Oh, okay. Oh, Which will gosh, air before yeah, this show goes on. Yeah. But yeah. Wow, that sounds like a great benefit. What's the name of the farm again? Um, um, it's a benefit for Brookwood Community Farm. Um, they do something they call a food justice program, which yeah. is donating food, fresh produce to people who can't afford it, basically. Yeah. So they're doing a benefit to raise money to cover the costs of all the food that they gave away. And it's at a... a an estate in Canton, right down the road from where their farm is, where they rent. They, they rent land. They don't own land, but they rent oh, it. Oh, so. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's good. Should be fun. They're gonna have gourmet meals with locally grown produce. Yeah, and all that yeah. stuff. And 
and it's going to be done by the time anybody sees this. Yeah. So you can't, <laughs> so you can't right. go in there, but can't, I can't was like, push it. So. Boy, that sounds really good, you know. Yeah. Um, we learned a, uh, a new song that Andy suggested specifically for the benefit, too. It's pretty oh, nice. cool. Yeah, an old spirit song, Fresh Garbage. <laughs> remember that? No, I remember spirit, but I... I do remember it, yeah, yeah. Isn't that funny? You can, do, you can hum a riff and everybody goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I know that one, I know that one. <laughs> um, do you have a uh, web presence at all anywhere? That people can John's you know, working on a website. Yeah, working we've on got it. a yeah. Facebook page. Uh, you know, I, I can't say the, the, the uh, social media stuff's one of my strengths, yeah. but uh, it's, it's a reality that you've just got to deal with these yeah. days. And uh, and I've got the URL for zenarmada.com. Ah. Uh, so I nice. think once we're, we're getting close to getting everything up and running, assuming, uh, you know, people are interested. I think uh, after watching the show, people are going to be yeah, typing that so into too. their browsers. <laughs> yeah. so. yep. You might better, want to have a better page get that going, Hi, we'll be back soon. <laughs> Don't worry, you know. Magazines, I'm thinking I can do that. Yeah, I see them in the papers on the TV screens. I'm thinking I can do that. I can do that. I saw friends are getting married and the gold. Yeah, they go to San Francisco, they go to L.A. I'm thinking, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that.
punch a clock every day just about nine Take my place on the old assembly line Said you would always, always be mine. Then I see you hanging with the son of the guy. Thank you for coming on the show. We had a great time. Thank you. Thanks, it was great. We had a really good time. Welcome. And Marty says thank you, too. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Marty, for being here. <laughs> okay, take care. Well, we hope you've enjoyed Zen Armada as much as we have here at BNN. Keep your eyes open for the next Transmission Hour, where we'll bring you more of Boston's best music. Until then, I'm your host, Tim Casey. Thanks for tuning in, and keep watching the skies. There's just no percentage in remembering the past. It's time you learn to love again at last. Come with me, leave yesterday behind. Take a giant step outside your mind. Come with me, leave Yesterday behind Take a giant step outside your mind